Well, good morning, family. How are you this morning? This is the day that the Lord has made. A wonderful day, wonderful day. I will rejoice and be glad in it with you. I woke up this morning with this word, scripture for today, that I would like to share with you guys. I kind of subtopic, watching for a mistake. Amen. But let us pray first. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, I come to you now. With this time with my social media family, I thank you, Lord God, for waking us up this morning, each and every one of us, Lord God, to a day, a day that we've never seen in the name of Jesus. I thank you for the angels that you've already placed on assignment all around the world over your people. Continue to guide them in every problem that they face and every decision they have to make today, Lord God. Give them travel and mercies. If they have to go out, let them come back home to the way that they left it in the name of Jesus. Also send the angels out to protect, defend, and preserve the sick and shut in, Lord God. All married couples, all single, divorced, and widowed in the name of Jesus and the brokenhearted. But now, Lord God, we take this time to open ourselves up, Lord God, and to meditate on this word. So, Lord, use me however you see fit. I decrease so you can increase in me. Have your way now. I give you all the honor and glory for it in advance. In Jesus' mighty and awesome name. Amen, amen, amen. How y'all doing this morning? Hallelujah. Let me fix y'all. Hallelujah. So, today's scripture for today, I want y'all to meditate on. Real quick, brief little... um. Me and the Lord were talking about, and I just wanted to share and come on and encourage you. And to I like a subtitle, it's called Watch for Mistake. Um, go with me to Luke chapter 14, verse 1 through 6. Excuse me, good morning. I hope all is well with you guys. I hope you all had a wonderful evening as well. Amen. Luke, now let me get it up. My screen. Luke chapter 14, verse 1 through 6. And it says, one Sabbath, when Jesus went to eat in the house of a prominent Pharisee, he was being carefully watched. There in front of him was a man suffering from ab, um, ab, abnormal swelling of his body. Jesus asked the Pharisees and experts in the law, is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath or not? But they remained silent. So taking hold of the man, he healed him and sent him on his way. Then he asked them, if one of you has a child or an ox that falls into a well on the Sabbath day, will you not immediately pull it out? And they had nothing to say. Family, in sixth grade, one of my classmates, Judy, was a top-notch student. I wanted to be the best, but the result was always the same. Judy came out number one while I was the runner-up. The green-eyed monster of jealousy grabbed my heart. I avoided her like the plague. Did I seize the opportunity to be challenged, learn from her successes and develop a friendship with her? No, I became upset with her and swirled down into self-pity. The Pharisees had Jesus right there with them, eating a meal with him. He spoke to them, encouraging them to look at life through the lens of God's love and concern for a sick man. Yet they allowed pride, jealousy, and a know-it-all attitude to rob them of blessing. Instead of seeing what they could learn, they secretly watched to find some fault or weaknesses. It takes a humble heart to rejoice with others. We have that option, but why not choose to learn from others' mistakes and celebrate with them their success? Hallelujah. I want y'all to meditate on it because a lot of times the Lord, we talked about this, um, this morning, I was up very early and um, I was looking out the window, but then as well, um, the Lord, I was looking at the news. Now, for some of you who don't know, sometimes I don't normally watch the news like that. But, you know, the thought, you know, came to me and I'm like, Lord, we tend to, as we go through life and you meet different people and you, you know, you see Here's some things. It doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter what um, environment you're in, whether it's in the workplace, whether it's in church, whether you're in the supermarket. We are always looking through the lens. The first thing is to find a mistake in the person that you may come in contact with. 
Why are we so quick to watch for mistakes than to look for successes or to look for the good in people? And of course, it's because of, you know, that thing called jealousy or envy um, or lack, lack that we may uh, feel as though with someone, we see someone, what they have, we want. But I'm just going to encourage you briefly, um, brothers and sisters, and to meditate on this today. Never size yourself up against anyone else. Never size yourself up against anyone else. God created us, and I said that in the last video. He created us strategically for a purpose, and he created us all different for a reason. And that's a beautiful thing. But never size yourself up and um, against anyone. And never... Uh, compete you don't need to compete uh what's for you it's for you and it is your path and your life is designed to go the way it needs to go for a reason so don't rush uh anything here we have jesus on the sabbath he sat with the pharisees this this what i find amazing when i read this much now jesus knew the pharisees don't like him <laughs> Pharisees don't like him <laughs> but he <laughs> It's just, I said, God is just amazing. First, he's don't like Jesus. <laughs> but he's sitting there and he's, and look, he's being carefully, the scripture says he was being carefully watched. So it was like all eyes on him. They was watching him in the lens of hoping he'll make a mistake. They was, and I know Jesus knew that. They, I, I'm quite sure they was thinking that. They was like, yeah, we wait, yeah, we waiting for him to screw up. Here it is. He's getting all this attention. He's getting all of this, you know, um, uh, uh, as back then, as we would say, all this celebrity status. Oh, we why, we just waiting for just one little hiccup and we just going to cut the ladder. They were watching him. And then Jesus, now here it is. They so caught up in watching Jesus and probably wanting, you know, thinking for him to screw up. You got this man suffering in his body he got an abnormal swelling in his but he's sitting there suffering but everybody else concerned about jesus messing up really and here it is jesus it says jesus asked the pharisees and the experts mm, the experts uh yeah the ones who know it or they supposed to know you know they supposed to be high and know all this he asked the Pharisees and experts in the law. Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath or not? But they remain silent. Ooh, for somebody that, you know, you know, for the experts, ooh, you ain't had nothing to say. Then it goes on to say, so, because Jesus felt like, hey, they ain't saying nothing. So he takes hold of the man and he heals him. And he sent them on his way. As if to say, you couldn't answer me when I asked the question. And here it is. Everybody want to go on and eat and doing what they doing, act like they don't see this man suffering. You know, so he asks and Then he turns around. Right, then, then Jesus go a step further. This will make him so cool. He says to them, he says to him in our scripture, if one of you has a child or an ox that falls into a well on the Sabbath day, Will you not immediately pull it out? And they had nothing to say. Oh, they had nothing to say. So what I'm saying to you, brothers and sisters, sometimes we got to stop being so caught up and watching and we got to stop being so um, looking at others to uh, watch their mistakes and to hope and pray that they could uh, stumble and fall because truth be told, God, sees that too that is still considered a stumbling block when you have um you notice because of a person's status or whatever and because you have some gunk in your heart that is not right you should not be wanting to be a stumbling block for anybody and it's sad to say that we do have that in the body of Christ and I pray every day and the main thing is to just get your heart right because why would you want your brother and sister to stumble and fall 
or why would you sit there and act like the Pharisees? You see one of your brothers and sisters suffering. You got the answer. It says it in the word. Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due when the power is in your hands to do so. Some of you hold the answers, but you let fear paralyze you from stepping up and to give your answer. Some of you have y'all y'all got y'all got the solution, but y'all be like, no, I ain't gonna say nothing, you know. And it's it's not it not just only helps the person, but it benefits anyone else coming behind you. So I encourage you stop watching for mistakes all the time, even in the world. Like I said, the world is it's it's a slow death. They need love. Everyone needs love. We have a um innate ability because God created us. All of us desire to be loved, to be loved. Some fa some form of fashion. When you even with within your relationships, your friendships, you desire to be loved. You desire to be cared for. You desire to be respected. You desire to be appreciated. You desire to be thank to be uh someone to thank you for uh what you um may do. We all have that. So stop watching through the lenses of mistakes and kept, be able to enjoy the success of those that the Lord bring in your path, regardless, excuse me, regardless of how they come. Because everyone that comes in our life is for a purpose. And we all have to realize that purpose. Everybody is not friend. Everybody ain't enemy. Everybody ain't that best girlfriend or that best boyfriend. Everybody ain't husband or wife material. It's a purpose for every reason under the sun that we are connected. God made it that way. I need you. You need me. That's just the way God made it to be. It is a reason for our connection. But the most important thing, and the Bible says it all through it, is unity. Unity not only commands the blessing, but unity is what also keeps the connection. It's like a fortress and it keeps the enemy out because that's the one thing he hates. That's the thorn in his side is when we pray when we act on our prayer, when we are obedient to God, and when we stick together with whom we connect, when we uplift, we up, we undergird, we help one another. Real simple. Amen. Real, real simple. So I encourage you today to, as you go throughout your day, no matter if you're at work, no matter what the situation may be, even through your storm. You know, don't look for the bad. Don't look for and don't be expecting a hiccup all the time. Don't be expecting um, uh, something to go wrong. Look for the positive in everything. Amen. Because you may have the answer. You may be the one that that person or that situation may be, that may need. I'm sorry. You are the one. All of us holds the key to something that is locked within each other or within a situation, whether it's on the job or not. Amen. So I'm not going to keep y'all long. I just wanted to come on briefly with that to encourage you this morning to, uh, you know, don't watch for so many people's mistakes or watch even in situations because there's a lot going on. The world itself got a lot going on and we see how the world treats its own. So my brothers and sisters in the body of Christ, we should not be treating one another like that. Amen. We should be mature and rise above that, you know, just on the respect level. Amen. Some of you don't even respect your fellow brothers and sisters. That's the, that's the basic. And if you can't respect your brothers and sisters on that level or just on a respect level, then why would you? Why why would God want to, you know, why would you ask anything of God? I mean, I'm just being real. That's just my Lord thought. If you can't even show something small like respect to your leaders, to your, you know, whomever in the body, your brother and sister in Christ, why expect anything of God? God loves us. God loves you. God loves you. 
God loves you. Get it in your head. God loves you. God loves you. He made you. He loves you. He loves you just the way you are inside and out. He know everything about you. And even though we know this and some things are repetitive and some things we hear from all over and from different leaders and stuff, you really got to get it in your system and really understand and believe that God loves you. God loves you. And he is going to hold your hand and walk hand in hand with you throughout all what you have to go through at your pace. Just trust him. Trust God's timing. I said that before too. Just trust his timing and enjoy life. Enjoy life. And also, yes, enjoy building the connections and the relationships with others. Amen. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord God, with this time with my social media family, Lord God. I thank you for this word, Lord God, and helping us to open our eyes and not to always look for the negative. There's so much negative going on in the world, but Lord God, amongst your people, help us to continue to undergird and uplift one another and to look for the positive, Lord God, and to help build each other up off the positive, off the goodness, off the strength that you've placed in each other, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that you've given us your grace and your mercy. But most importantly, Lord, as we all continue our journey, help us to repent and forgive us for our sins, our sins that are known and our sins that are unknown in the name of Jesus. Lord God, you continue to be so patient and faithful with us, Lord God, and we thank you for it. And Lord, we will continue to strive to be just as faithful and committed unto you. But Lord, use all of us, however you see fit, wherever we have to go today or wherever we are, whether we're in our homes, whether we're on the job, whether we are doing, you know, whatever you have us to do, Lord God, help us to always represent you well in our mind, thought and deeds in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for your love. That is so good. Lord, I tell you, it is just such a sweet, sweet journey with you even through the storm. So I thank you, Lord God, for giving us, you know, every desires of our hearts. Lord God, help us to all continue to walk out and to be all what you created us to be. Lord, continue to help us to strengthen the unity amongst one another and to love ourselves better, to love you better, and to love one another better. In Jesus' mighty and awesome name, amen, amen, amen. It was good being on this morning with you guys and um, I hope that each of you have a wonderful wonderful blessed day and I ain't gonna be on off for real but before I go let me see if I see some dinkies let me see uh, yes I ain't gonna get to this oh oh Tanya hi Tanya I'm gonna be to like Tanya oh oh minister the mistress oh how you do oh they go they go too fast hold on I gotta wait oh my sister Serena oh hi Tanya this Serena oh Rose oh hi Jocelyn on, oh, oh, Jocelyn on, oh, hi, my girl. Hey, Rose, hey, brother, Earl on in the house. Ah, my sister, my little, see, y'all set me off. Ah, Miss Doris, what's up, Miss Doris? Oh, 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 well, ho, ho, I got to do the way thing. Oh, 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 <laughs> hold up, hold up in the Oh, Paula in the corner. Hi, Paula, 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 hold up. It is going fast. Hold up, I got to do the way the same way. What's up, man? <laughs> hold up, Paula, way. What's up, Paula, 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 Paula? The day's going fast. Oh, they are so nice. Tanya waving. <laughs> How you doing, Tanya? Oh, my minister, Demetrius. Let me wait. <laughs> minister is in the house, y'all. The minister is in the house, y'all. Oh, what's up, Rose? Oh, oh, Dick and Serena. Oh, let me wait. Oh, how you doing, Serena? <laughs> y'all, oh, oh, this is so cute. Y'all see, I go for where I go off. Oh, Jocelyn. Hi, Jocelyn. Oh, it's a wave. Hold up. What's up, Jocelyn? <laughs> Jocelyn, I'm coming to see you, Jocelyn. Call me. I'm coming. I'm coming to New York. I'm coming to see my Jocelyn and Faith. For real, we're gonna get. We're gonna set it up. Oh, what's up, Rose? How you doing? Oh, brother Earl. Oh, hi, brother Earl. Brother Earl, give my sister, um, Carletta, a big, big hug. Tell her I love her. Oh, I got hit the wave. Oh, what's up? What's up? Oh, Miss Doris. Oh, hi, Miss Miss Doris. What's going on with you? How you doing? Oh, let me hit the wave thing. Oh, how you doing, Miss Doris? How you doing? Oh, this is nice. Oh, what's up, my sister Belinda? Oh, I just love this woman of God, y'all. I'm telling you, see that y'all they sent me y'all. Like, my church family, my oh, y'all is something else. Let me hit the wave. What's up, Smith?
Belinda, what's up, Belinda? Oh, Rose, you're a how you doing, Rose? Rose, what's going on with you, girl? What's going on with you? Oh, they go so fast. Hold up, y'all. I don't want to mess up. Hi, y'all, Lord. I love y'all. Thank y'all for being on with me this morning. Oh, y'all, God, people, I tell you, y'all just make my heart good as well. Something y'all pray for me. Something trying to jump on me again. I bind it up in the name of Jesus. I ain't got time to be fighting no cold or no googies from nobody, germy germs and whatever. But I'm taking some medicine and stuff now. Oh, how y'all doing? Oh, y'all, this nice. This some new stuff. Oh, what's up in the corner? Oh, Paula and Rose up in the corner. Hold on. Y'all, this is exciting. How y'all doing? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, somebody else popped out. Who's that? Who's that that popped out? <laughs> My sister Yvonne. Or how you doing? Let me wait. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Oh, this is so lovely, God's people. Y'all are so, I'm telling you, y'all are some beautiful folks. We got to continue to love each other. I love y'all with all the love of Christ. I really, really do. Don't let nobody tell y'all that. Don't let nobody tell y'all nothing different. God said, I truly, truly adore God's people and I strive. I ain't perfect by a long shot, but I do strive to love everybody because I'm old school. I treat people like I want to be treated. Amen. I tell you, oh, this is nuts. This is, look at the dinghies. And my dinghies look different. They love all kinds of colors. Oh, no, maybe it's this phone. I know that's right. I love you too, Rose. Oh, Rose, that's my girl. I tell you, Rose, something else. Rose, something else. You right, Rose, for real. We got to love. We got to, if you can't respect others, you can't love them. Absolutely. You right. You right. Hold up, Rose. I'm reading your thing. Oh, that's good, Rose. Yes. Okay, y'all. Let me tell y'all what Rose said. If y'all didn't see it, Rose said, if you can't respect others, you can't love them. You know what the word says. How can you love God who you can't see and can't love our brothers and sisters who we see every day? Absolutely. I totally agree. I don't know why some people so mean, Rose. They vicious out here. They just vicious. Good grief. Yeah, who that said buying the germs? I got my hands up. I received that by girl. I, I got all kinds of stuff per my doctor. I got all, I got my own, I got my teeth. Oh, 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 I'm girl. I'm combating down. I got mask and I, <laughs> I'm just playing, but I do. I'm becoming, what's up? Oh, that's Miss Erica. Hi, Erica. Hi, Erica. Oh, it's a hit wave. Hi, Erica. <laughs> oh, and good morning to my new followers. How y'all doing, my new followers? Hi, Erica. Oh, Miss Erica. Oh, good morning. Oh, how you doing, Miss Erica? I ain't see you in the middle. You know I just came back off my face. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to balance it out because I'm on fire. And I think that's why, you know, the googlies, the, the ooky ook trying to get me. Oh, 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 this is nice. Only for a few more minutes, I'm going to keep y'all on because I got to say my hellos. How y'all doing? Oh, I hope y'all having a wonderful day now. And here in Baltimore, we're having such... Uh, it's cold outside. We had some snow and now it's like a little hot mess out there in the sense of slushiness and uh, it's raining. But praise be to the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord that um, we are all here together, alive and well. And I hope each and every one of you are, um, you know, I do, doing well. And uh, you all snuggled in or if you're out, if you have to go out, just be very safe and uh, watch for, you know, just um, be careful, uh, be, be safe, you know, and uh, and I decree and declare you will uh, make it back home to your families and all will be um, the way you left it. Amen. So again, um, you know, I came on to encourage you, some of you who just joined to just, you know, stop watching through the lenses when you meet people. I mean, even new people, sometimes we get intimidated or we get a little nervous when new people come into our lives and we like, oh, Lord, what's their purpose? What are they going to do? You all, you know, get out your feelings because um, uh, sometimes we shoot down the positivity uh, before it really had takes its root to go up. And then we up here already have um, 
a total, total false image of a person because you so want, you so guarded. Now, yes, we are supposed to be guarded, but don't don't let that be your initial um, reaction to new things because when God takes each of us and elevate us, yes, yeah, a little nervous when you you know that when you're going up and you're being elevated, that that space it's a little nervous. But then, you know, once you get there, God helps you get to your new level of elevation. You can breathe a little bit and then he'll get you adjusted. We ain't going to say comfortable. We got to get adjusted. Amen. So I love y'all with all the love of Christ. Y'all have a wonderful, blessed day. I know I kept y'all uh, a little long. Oh, it's raining in Waldorf. I used to live down in Waldorf, Miss Erk. How you doing, though? Um, y'all have a wonderful blessed day. Oh, she making oh the thing is my oh they popping up real fast. Oh, there's some over here. And then there's some of y'all up there, and then there's something down here. I tell you, blessed be the name of the Lord. Boy, I gotta get tired. My kids got to be. I'll tell you, they know they be like mom be going off. Oh, this is some new stuff, you know. Hey, bye. Y'all know oh, what's up, roses or hey Rose, how you doing? Rose, I ain't hit Rose, I meant to hit you. How you doing, Rose? Okay, hold on, it's a wave. How you doing, Rose? How you doing? Oh, Sister Rose is in the house, y'all. Rose is in the house. Hallelujah. I hope all is well with you and your family. Thank y'all for being on this morning with me. Oh, my heart is melting now. I'm going to feel, I tell you, I, 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 for real, all this sickness coming up, it's the love, for real. Love will heal you, you know being happy will heal you quicker you know yes this flesh is going to go through what it go through but always think positive do what god says when he says how he says like i always tell y'all continue to build your relationship and like you've seen on many of my posts when you know this is 2019 speak life step up step out it's still all about him we are focused even your mentality your vision we are going Stay focused. We're going forward. Focus on real wins and reduce distractions. I love y'all so much. Oh, they is pot. This is amazing. I don't even want to let y'all go. See, this is how y'all set me off, and I be keeping y'all on here all the time. Oh, they popping out. Oh, 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 look at Miss Erica. You sat down, Miss Erica. I tell you, I love y'all. I do, and um, I will be in touch with some of you guys soon, so we can continue to talk and all that good stuff. This is so wonderful. Y'all something else. I love y'all so much. God bless y'all. Y'all is in the house. Everybody in the house. Rose, my minister, my deacon, everybody, my girlfriend, oh, my, my ride and die partner on here. Oh, my good. This is amazing. My sisters, I love y'all. My brother on here. What's up, brother? Earl is in brother earl in the house boy i tell you love you earl but earl please tell carla to give a big hug for me tell her i love her i'm gonna get up and try to get with her soon as well see how y'all do what i tell you it is good to see it's good to be back love y'all so much god bless y'all and y'all have a wonderful wonderful day you can review the video you can uh, but meditate on our scripture and just you know continue to just um acknowledge some things no matter what season you're in and just you know um gotta help you get it right you know and just be honest with it and i promise you he's going to open you up so you know widely and it's just going to be liberating because he's doing it with me and i'm glad to see that he's doing it with many of you as well so i love y'all god bless your big hugs i want to let y'all go and i will be on soon uh with another word of encouragement soon and uh, we're going to continue our journey together as we grow together in the word of God. Love y'all so much. God bless y'all and have a wonderful and blessed day.